Aloha, my name is Dane. Uh, I'm 26 years old. Um, I'm originally from San Diego, California. Um, I'm a resident at Habilitat. I've been here for 22 months now. Um, I'm a fundraising representative in the program, uh, in our marketing department, and we're getting ready for our 12th annual Luau Auction and Benefit Concert. It's going to be on June 2nd from 10 to 4 at King Intermediate School in Kaneohe. Um, Habilitat is actually recognized as being one of the most successful drug and alcohol treatment centers in the nation. And all the proceeds from this luau go directly into our program, directly into helping others get their lives back on track. The luau is going to be awesome. Over 2,000 people in attendance this year. We're going to have a huge concert, all types of live entertainment. Uh, we serve an eight-course Hawaiian meal. We actually prepare all the food fresh ourselves. Um, and we're also going to be holding one of the biggest live and silent auctions in the state of Hawaii. Uh, you guys can get tickets for only $35 a piece for adults, $15 for children, and there's different family packages you can get as well to save yourself some money. We even reserve tables of 10 seats for $275, and uh, you guys definitely don't want to miss out. It's going to be an awesome event. Uh, you guys can call 235-3691 to get some tickets. We have fundraising representatives available at any time of the day during the working hours, and uh, feel free to give us a call, man. Come down to the Luau and have a good time. My name is Jason. I'm from Haleiwa, born and raised. I've been in a program for 25 months now. I'm an overseer in the fundraising department here at Habilitat. My position entails overseeing the whole fundraising project. Um, what we do is we look for companies who would like to sponsor our big luau here in Kaneohe, held once a year. Um, it's a fundraiser held to help support our program, um, to bring residents from here on the island and in the mainland um, a chance to have scholarships to come into our program and get their lives back together. My name is Elvis. I've been in the program for 40 months now. I opted to stay on uh, an extra year. I'm what they call an elder in the elder phase of the program. Uh, everybody works really hard to put on this luau that we have and uh, my actually category in our department is uh, gift certificates. Uh, I'm in charge of trying to you know acquire some gift certificates travel packages, activities, restaurants, and what I do is I make a package and we auction them off in our silent auction and our live auction. And it uh, takes a lot of work. We, we spend a, uh, roughly about four to five months in preparation for the auctions, uh, live and silent auctions. And uh, I've, been doing, I've been doing it for the last three years now. And I pretty much built a real good rapport with the people I work with and uh, the community helps out a lot. I call Outer Islands and uh, I contact other companies on the mainland and locally. As it compares to other auctions, honestly, I haven't been to that many uh, silent auctions. Uh, I know that uh, the production is a really big uh, production. It, it takes a lot of coordinating. We do have uh, categories in sporting goods, artwork, furniture, electronics, uh, gift certificates, travel packages, uh, baby items, children items, uh, accessories, you know, just a whole wide range of different types of products. And, you know, so it's actually good for anybody who's interested in any type of thing. And you'll always find something that, you know, that'll appeal to somebody in our auctions. The silent auction, anyone can participate in the silent auction. And it will, uh, there is a time limit. You, everybody can browse and, you know, check out all the items, see what they are interested in, and everybody bids on, on the items. The bidding increments go anywhere between, well, uh, they start off like a good percentage below the retail price, and then everybody bids in increments of either $5, $10, and then uh, there is a time limit where we call an end to the auction, and the last person on the bidding sheet uh, wins the auction item. People ask me, about the whether the proceeds go and uh, they're basically all the proceeds stay in the community it's you know it, it stays in the community you'll be helping out the community 100% uh, and yeah it just stays here in Hawaii. Entertainment wise we've had a bunch of groups uh, that cater to a different wide range of ages a lot of people like you know the old school Hawaiian Penna in the past, we've had uh, Rebel Soldier, that's a little bit more, you know, a younger generation kind of reggae, local reggae band. Uh, Sister Roby Kakalao, she volunteers, she's, you know, she's a sweetheart. She volunteers her, her, her time every year. She comes out to the Luau, she really supports us. Uh, we have uh, Hula Dancing, Tahitian Dancing, you know, 
it's just a really big thing and the community comes together and we have a lot of fun. It's a really big, you know, luau. Baby. professional we have a circus tent we have large circus tents with a, a stage and you know speakers and it's just a really big pro professional uh, production
name's Blake Lawrence. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I've, this is my 23rd month, so I'm going on two years here in the program at Abilitat. Um, I am an acquisition representative in the enterprise department. Uh, I've been doing that for about a year and a half now. Uh, what I do for the Luau is I acquire products from the you know, big corporations on the mainland, as well as here on the island, uh, that are generous enough to donate goods to our big Luau for our auctions. But yeah, acquisitions is uh, definitely important, you know, because I mean, we get up. We, I mean, we had started this thing called early acquisitions. We get up, you know, uh, you know, 3:30, and we're in the office by 4 a.m. That way, we can call, you know, the East Coast companies. That way, you know, because the time difference here in Hawaii and you know, say New York. You know, it's six hours right now, so we got to get up extra early. You know, and it feels good uh, calling, you know, and getting up that early, putting in the work and effort to doing that because, you know, if it wasn't for that time and effort that we put in, you know, then we wouldn't have things to auction off, you know, for our supporters. Um, the auction, uh, you know, it's a big, it's a big, big thing. Um, I know what I've heard from a lot of local uh, people is that, you know, luau's, you know, it's just the food, you know, it's the entertainment. But what makes our luau different is the live auction, you know, the silent auction. Um, and it is one of the largest live auctions on the island, you know, it's put along with our luau. And how it goes down is, you know, the residents, besides the fact of, you know, Surfer Joe getting involved, you know, doing, uh, doing his thing, uh, which he's great at it, uh, you know, the residents, you know, we're the runners, we're the spotters in the crowd, actually had an opportunity to be one of the spotters in the live auction last year. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big thing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's rock and roll. Let's have an auction here, boys and girls. Start up at the bottom and go. Not 500 here. Start at 125. Got a buck and a quarter, about 150, but 175. 50 down there, but 175. Now, but a two, but a two. Got 200 down here. Got to get 225. Now, 50. Would it be the 50? Would it be the 50? Would it be the 50, sir? I got 225 this side. Would it be the 50? Would it be the 50? Would it be the 50? 250. Yeah, now 75. 75 to keep it alive. 75 to keep it alive. Marlon, your man's out. I get 250 down to the middle here and gotta get 75. Anybody else? 275. You're in. I like the way 45 bids here. 275 here and gotta get three. No three, no three. Yeah, I get 275 his way. You got three? You got three? Ah, oh, 325. Now 50. Now 50. Now 50. You got a bid to win. Bid to buy, buy more, bid to bid to win. Rich has got the man at 325. Down the middle, make no mistakes. 350, 75. One more time. Hit it again. 375. You had 325. Bit of bit 50. I had 75. Got it. 375. Now four. Now four. Now four. Got to get four. Now four. Now four. The auctioneer likes to see a lot of high speed, rapid fire, non stop bidding here. Irrational exuberance is purely okay. He's at 375. Anybody I can get a bit of bit four? And I. Uh, all together now. Sold it. 375. Give him a nice round of applause. The Dynex is a done deal. Sold 375. Item number one. And the bidder number once again, Richard, is up here, sir. Put that number up loud and proud when we say sold. 390, 390, 390. All righty, uh, JK, find me the money. Show me the money here for lot number two. Chance, ladies and gentlemen, are you listening? To tame a jungle with a husk bar and an 18-inch chainsaw. The Poulon Pro Gas Hedge Trimmer and the Weed Eater Featherlight Gas String Trimmer. Value. $500, you get it all, one money, not time is the money. Um, but like, just like the Luau, I mean, it's, it's all residents, you know, it's residents giving back to the program that's helped them out so much, uh, doing what they got to do. Uh, it's, it's great, you know, spotting was real exciting last year. Um, it's, it's nice to see the supporters get out there. I mean, it gets wild. I've been to a few auctions uh, back on the mainland, but nothing cuts it close to this. I mean, it's, it's nice because the people are out there, yes, they're out there to get their, uh, you know, things that they want, but they're also out there to support the program. So it gives them that little bit of, you know, a little, puts a little bit more excitement in there because you got family members out there, um, you know, that want to, you know, get items. And it's, <laughs> it's funny because uh, you see little old ladies out there, you know, they're out there, you know, hooping and hollering, uh, you know, and, you know, yelling to the top of their lungs. And you wouldn't think, you know, you see a 90 year old lady out there with their family. And if you go to other auctions, you know, the money's going to people, you know, to put in their pockets for profit. Um, the money here uh, is going towards helping people here on the island. And of course, you know, just like me, if, I, if I'm going to give somebody money, I'm going to want to know where it goes. And, it, you know, I'm going to feel a lot better if I know the money's going towards a good cause, you know, going to help, you know, young people or people here on the island, you know, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help out the island, the island community, you know, getting people, you know, off the streets, getting people off drugs. Uh, it's nothing, it's, it's, no, it's all positive. You know, the people definitely, you know, feel better. When I talk to our supporters, I let them know that the money goes towards scholarships for people because that's, 
even though I'm from the mainland, the majority of the people here are from the island. And yeah, I wouldn't have had my chance if it hadn't been for these big fundraisers that we have, you know, especially the luau because the, all the money comes back into the program, whether it's, you know, operation needs, you know, operating needs, or, you know, scholarships for, you know, the people coming in the program because there's plenty of people here on the island <clears throat> that deserve treatment and they can't afford it. So that's why we put on these, you know, you know it's for self-supporting program and, you know. My name is Helen and I am 22 years old. I am from Florida and I work on the acquisition side in the enterprise department. For the kids at the Luau, it's actually great. Um, for families to come down, you might be worried that the children, how, what are we gonna do with the kids while we're busy at the auction? And we actually have residents that are assigned to certain activities for the kids, um, where they can come down and jump around in the two huge inflatable bounce houses. And then we also have a mobile game truck, which entertains them for hours. The kids are usually stuck there. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We do also have shaved ice, which is a great way for them to cool down after the inflatable bounce houses. And then uh, last for the kids, we have balloon animals. They are entertained by that for a little bit, and uh, they can even take one home with them. We do offer face painting, which is something that they really enjoy doing. A child's ticket is only $15, so definitely bring your kid down. for From 10 to 4, you can't really go anywhere else where they can get all this entertainment and keep themselves busy all day long. Um, if you're not able to come down, we do offer people to donate children's tickets where we do get the less fortunate involved. Uh, my name is Kevin. Um, I was raised here in Hawaii. I'm of Hawaiian and Irish descent. Uh, my mother is a local girl. I've been in Habilitat now for 17 months. I'm in the upper reentry phase of the program. I work in the kitchen here, the kitchen entity. I've also cooked off and on for about 16 years, so I know a thing or two about being in the kitchen. Um, being that I was raised here in Hawaii, I grew up going to a lot of luau's, so I have uh, a lot of first-hand experience, actually. My name's Mark, and uh, uh, I've been in the program for 23, going on 24 months now, and I work in the uh, kitchen department. And it's definitely been an experience here. We're starting to prepare for our 12th annual luau, and um, I don't know, we're just getting ready. We run a traditional eight-course Hawaiian meal, which was all new to me. I'm from Michigan, so uh, that was all new to me when I had to cook it last year. Squid luau, lomi salmon, uh, what else? Chicken long rice, Kahlua pig, beef stew. The beef stew I can make, man. I mean, that's, that's, that's everywhere, but I mean, I don't make it how the locals like it, so I had to learn that one, too. Uh, Halpia, is it? He's learned very well, actually. I try. Yeah, so that's cool, man. I mean, it's an experience to get to cook for, I don't know how many people come to that thing. Like, Ooh, I think last year there was, uh, what, over uh, 1,800 people? Yeah. People in that neighborhood? Um, yeah. It's gonna be, and, and from what I understand, we're expecting more this year because it's going to be in the same location. A little bit about the luau. Um, it's going to take a lot of hard work. There's going to be long days. Mark and I, along with the rest of the uh, people that work in the kitchen, we're going to be working a lot of double shifts. Uh, and there's also going to be residents from the program, whether they're in treatment, reentry, different phases of the program that don't necessarily work in the kitchen that are going to be helping us prepare for this. But it's going to take a lot of work. I mean, we're talking about, uh, we're probably going to be cooking somewhere around uh, 12 to 1,500 pounds of pork, just that alone. Um, I believe we're going to be cooking about 1,800 pounds of beef, which is from beef stew. Um, the pork... Were you here last year when we did that? The pork? We make the emu and all that? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's that was the next thing I was going to get into, man, is the emu. Oh, For those of you that don't know what an emu is, basically it's a, um, a Hawaiian style oven. It's, it's a pit that's dug in the ground. Um, it's lined with banana leaves. Um, and we put in uh, 
but the Calvary wood. Uh, the Calvary wood is lit. We put what we call these, uh, I forget the name of the Hawaiian stones, but we put these. Lava rock. A certain type of, yeah, the lava rock is a certain type though, because they have to be porous. There has to be holes in them. They have, they have to be able to absorb heat. Otherwise, if they can't, if uh, the rocks will tend to explode or crack or fall apart, which kind of ruins the whole process of cooking the pig. So anyway, it's, the, the pigs are then placed on top of the stones. Uh, the pigs are first wrapped with uh, banana leaf, tea leaf. Uh, we, of course, we season the pork before we actually put it in the ground. Um, and then it's buried and it sits in there in this pit and it cooks for anywhere from 12 to 18 hours um, depending on the amount and how much weight it is but it's um, some of the best pork you'll ever eat i um i lived in the mainland i lived over in florida for quite a few years and i once went to this trade show where there was a bunch of chefs up in south carolina and I met a man who was a, a young man, Afri African American guy, who, once I started speaking to, speaking to this guy, he, he was telling me that he had been to Hawaii before, and he had he, the first thing he asked was about, man, you know how to do a, an emu? You know, I looked at him like, what? And he's like, yeah. He said, you know, man, you guys make the best poke I've ever had. You know, and this this guy, we're talking about a, a southern boy who grew up on. You know, barbecue and cooking pork and stuff like that. So it's uh, melt in your mouth, uh, tender, it's tasty. It's, to me, the best way to cook pork. As far as prepping and getting ready for an event to, to this size, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of organization organization that has to be done and um, I'm talking just from the food service aspect here I mean there's so many different aspects to putting on a whole luau that I don't even know about the only thing I got to merely uh, dab my feet in was the food service last year and um, there's so much that goes into it all I really had experience working with was the food man and making the stuff and I know that um, we get our whole residency here involved on cutting vegetables and things like that. So we'll have 110 people cutting onions and tomatoes for the um, Lomi Lomi salmon, you know. And uh, we'll have everyone getting involved. And that's really the cool thing about it, man. Everybody does their part, man. The food tastes a whole lot better because everyone got involved, you know. And uh, I know the night before the luau, we, we work double, triple, quadruple shifts or we'll just run like, you know, a crazy 28 hour day straight cooking food to the luau, transporting big coolers full of food, man, serving it, packing it all up, coming home. And I realized, oh man, I got a lot of dishes to do, man. It's like, I'm on my fifth wind, man. And I'm just like delusional knocking dishes out, man. It's pretty crazy, but um, that alone, man, is an experience too, man, that's like, I just remember last year and how good I felt when it was all done, man, and all the hours we put in and all the work we did and how it all worked out and everything went as planned, man. And uh, it was cool. I don't know too much into how all the details work, man. All I know is that I followed directions from my boss, man, and that, that everything comes together. Uh, a lot of the food is donated, uh, a lot of the food is bought. We spend a lot of money too, you know. Um, utensils and silverware and uh, uh, trays and things like that, we get donated. We get a lot of supporters out there for our cause, you know. I mean, in my opinion, this is the only place that actually successfully rehabilitates people, but um, I've been to a lot of other rehabs before. and. Uh, so a lot of people see that and they understand that this place works, man, and they're willing to help out and they donate utensils and they donate things that we need because as a nonprofit organization, this luau is really one of the events that helps keep our doors open. So, 
I mean, it's a great thing, man, when you get a whole community working together to make things happen. But like Mark said, an event of this magnitude, it takes a lot of planning, a lot of organization. Uh, there's a lot of man hours that's going to go into this. I mean, there's a lot of food that's going to get prepped. A lot of food that gets cooked ahead of time. In fact, most of it's going to get cooked ahead of time. Um, there's only a couple things that will probably get cooked the night before the luau, which, like you said, we'll be up all night working all day. I mean, like you said, we'll probably be working anywhere between 24 and 26 or 28 hours straight, nonstop. It gets kind of hectic, but we have fun doing it. You know, that's the, the great thing about here in Abilitad that, that they taught, that we've been learning, is not just coexisting with one another, but learning to work with one another and help one another. So that when this thing, when events like this are put on, um, everything just falls right into place, man. From getting the tents down there, getting the tables and the, paper, the you know tables wrapped, getting the chairs down there, to setting up the auction, setting up the stage for the bands, um, to setting up the tents for the, you know the catering in our end of it. Um, there's a lot that goes into this, but you know what? I've never seen it done on such a grand scale being done in so short, so quick at the time as, as we get it done here. And like I said, we learn to, I mean, we rock, bottom line, we rock and roll, man. When it comes down to taking care of business, Habilitat takes care of business. And that's something that we all have learned here. Um, I'm looking forward to the luau, man, because uh, it, it's a great experience and it's, it's a way for me to dig back into part of my culture, you know, part of my heritage, what I was raised in uh, doing. Um, you know, like I said, I grew up going to the luau's and helping dig the kids, digging the evenings and, you know, staying up overnight and with the uncles and aunties and cousins and whatnot and, you know, playing the ukulele music and just singing and dancing, having fun. Um, so I look forward to this. It's definitely going to be an experience. And, uh, you know, I don't know how many more of I'm going to be around here for. Uh, so, like, to take the words of a man, a staff member here, last set, best set, man. You know, we're going to do this one. We're going to kick it off right. I want to say to all you folks out there that might be listening, that might be able to get, get a chance to hear this, come on down, enjoy this luau. It's going to be a great party. A lot of good food, good music, a lot of fun activities, crafts, a lot of people. Come on down.